was gonna sit and relax, but here's Lizard Guy. I was gonna chill and play Golden X, but here's Lizard Guy. Now I'm editing this trash, and I know why. Cause of Lizard Guy. Cause of Lizard Guy. Cause of Lizard Guy. I was gonna parody Joe, but here's Lizard Guy. I was gonna show you that he's whiter than snow, but here's Lizard Guy. Now this moron gets another video, and I know why. Cause he's Lizard Guy. Cause he's Lizard Guy. Cause he's Lizard Guy. I was gonna smoke me a bowl, but here's Lizard Guy. I was gonna ignore this dumb asshole, but here's Lizard Guy. His mama should have used birth control. Do you know why? She birth lizard guy. She birth lizard guy. She birth lizard guy. Back in 2021, I introduced my viewers to Lizard Guy. A, I don't even know how to describe this fella, really. Picture everything you hate about wokeism. Remove all charm, remove all pretense of caring for your fellow man, add a shit ton of autism, and then have this person attack everyone and anyone he disagrees with about any subject you can think of, and then, of course, always act as though he himself wasn't the initial aggressor, and you have Lizard Kai. Here's what a typical argument with him looks like. <clears throat> I don't like the color yellow. Well, I feel like people who don't like the color yellow are always horrible alt-right Nazis who support Tucker Carlson. Can we just get back to talking about colors? Ah, typical! Do you realize how much you're hurting me right now? Do you, Why do you want to kill me for liking yellow? All you Republican alt-right white Nazi supremacists are all the same! You think I should die because I'm not human in your eyes! I was just talking about a color here. Right! Because you're a racist and color is all you see! Why are you telling me all yellow lovers are chinks and should die? Notice that added racism at the end. Yeah, he'll periodically insert a racist slur in there and then pretend like it was you who said it all along. This is the frustrating exercise of talking to Lizard Guy, much less arguing with him. He's a pain to talk to if you have any disagreement with the guy. He's a pain to deal with. You just try having a civilized disagreement with a guy. It is impossible, I tell you. So you might be asking yourself, why is Lizard Guy on Ace's radar again? Well, back in, I want to say, roughly December or January, I had heard that Lizard Guy, yet again, had gotten into yet another pointless argument with yet another person online. And, well, having experienced this myself two years ago, I definitely had something to say about the matter. Well... After a short back and forth, Lizard Guy blocked me on Twitter, then shortly cancelled his Twitter account to move to CounterSocial, a site that sadly allowed him for the longest time to post all sorts of hurtful diatribes about me and my friends, uncontested. Everything from accusing me of genocide to stating that I had wished death upon him and that I had incited him to suicide. Clear attempts to curry public sympathy for himself while trying to get people to attack me on his behalf. When I tried to go to Counter Social to confront him about this, he had me banned and I had to drop it right then and there. I mean, folks, no website that stifles free speech is worth anyone's time. And wouldn't you know it, by some sheer miracle, I had the foresight to actually save a screenshot of my two little posts that got me instantly banned within the hour by the counter social team. As you can see here, I was neither being belligerent, violent, I wasn't inciting violence, nor did I even mention Liz. I merely tagged him into my two posts, which got me an IP ban and deleted off the site for my troubles. If you doubt whether that's actually me, well, that's a pic I got off an Argentine football website depicting Bulbasaur in a River Plate uniform. And if you read my username on Counter Social backwards, it's Mozart Enemy. Basically, a Salieri for those of you who know the origin of my username. Well, turns out a couple of months later, today, 
Finally, someone complained to Jester, the one guy who owns and runs that crappy website. Finally, Jester decided he'd had enough of Lizard Guy's hateful and discouraging rhetoric on his website. Mind you, I had warned Jester about him two months ago, but my pleas went unanswered. So now that Lizard Guy is actually inciting violence and causing trouble on his site, and asking people if he could hire them to hurt other people. Finally then, that's finally now the the correct time to, to act, right, Jester? Anyhow, Jester yeeted Lizard Guy off his website, but not before blocking me for daring to point out that his counter-social website is shitty and terrible, and that Jester himself cultivates exactly the kind of user that ends up talking and acting like Lizard Guy, because they have no filter, and they're protected by equally shitty people. That is your audience, Jester. That's the people that are, that are going to join your site. Because they'll go uncontested. That is what comes of letting only people you agree with politically have any say. This is why free speech will always be better than what, than what your crappy alternative is. Where you claim people have a voice, but in reality what you're doing is you're stifling them too. Anyone with any sense will realize that counter-social is in reality anti-social. And that just because you happen to agree politically with the owner doesn't make you more deserving of having your say than anyone else does. Twitter is a cesspool of hatred. I'll agree to that any day. But you know what? I would take Twitter any day over a place where I cannot say what I mean, even at great personal detriment. Should you ever want to know what a Nazi really looks like? Here's your National Socialist right here. Anyhow, I digress. Back to Lizard Guy. So, one look at his VTubers page, and you can see that it was me he was talking about hurting. So it turns out that some of the worst people online are really just jobless sad sacks in Arizona. It's no secret that I live in Arizona. Everyone from Kiwi Farms to Encyclopedia Dramatica has been doxing me for years. And, well, who else would Lizard Guy hate in Arizona who has made an expose video on him? I think we can narrow it down. So, he's thinking these violent thoughts about me? For simply making a video poking fun at him two years ago? To the point where he is actively talking about hiring a hitman if he could afford one. This guy is out of, he's off his rocker. He's unhinged. So, I decide to delve deeper to see what he's been up to. And oh my god, prepare to peer into the psyche of a depressed, borderline psychotic and desperate man that is clearly in need of psychiatric help. So this is his fur affinity page. The exclamation mark next to his name denotes that he has been suspended from posting on the site. No doubt a product of some other online person he mouthed off to inappropriately. Something he just can't seem to keep himself from doing. Lizard Guy is nothing if not belligerent to virtually anyone and everyone he comes into contact with after all. Well, let's take a look at the good old Fur Affinity Journal. I mean, we did this two years ago, but uh, let's see what what recent stuff. I'm not going to go too far back. Five months seems good uh, prior to my altercation with him to see how he was feeling prior to re-meeting me. But not another counter-social shilling journal. Ha, gotcha. It totally is one. No serious... Seriously, no hateful racist shit on this server, no bots, no trolls, no Twitter, just normal, sane, average people. Heck, the closest I got to a heated discussion was basically a drive-by argument. <sighs> Five months ago and you're already banned. That's not a new record for him, but damn, you are really good at getting banned from websites, my, my guy. Stuff about the Mario trailer... Moderation is not censorship, you're just a whiny bitch. Oh my god, if you only had a little bit of self, self-awareness. self Maybe it's time to leave the liquor store behind. 
Well, vent time. So, not gonna lie, last week or two has been very hectic. Before I get into this, a bit of a backstory. Sometime last year, around this time, that's what I think about it, I was able to get a job at a local liquor store. You needed booze, I could sell you some, assuming you were 21. And overall, it was a good place despite minor hiccups. Within the last month or two, the old owners sold the place. New employees came in, which is good, but some of the older, more experienced guys were quick to put in their two weeks' notice. I did not, yet. So, of course, when you lose two or three major employees and don't quickly replace all of them, you know what happens? A metric butt-ton of shit gets thrown at whoever's still around. So I'm still... Uh, long story short, he didn't want to pick up the slack. Oh, darn. Most likely got fired or quit that job. This is the same guy who in my previous video I pointed out, I think it was 37 jobs in five years that he lost. Um, yeah. You hear what's going to happen to Twitter? No clue. I can't commit to a project. Help me! I have no motivations to do the things that I want. I have literally all the time in the world today, but none of the motivation. I keep self-sabotaging myself, and there's literally no way around it on my own. This is a call for help! Yeah. This is why you probably should get offline, bro. Just get offline and get, get yourself right. Moderation is not censorship. Don't use schizophrenic as an insult. It just don't use schizophrenic as an insult. Most importantly, you have no argument, if anything. Just fucking say so. I don't need to hear you shout about some gen genetic illness you know nothing about. I swear, some people just don't know when to actually stop. Yeah, we don't know when to stop. Now it's that time of the year again. That time I complained that Thanksgiving is just swept under the rug for a glorified capitalist bloodbath. Bro, capitalism is the system that allows you to be a whiny bitch online. Stop dissing capitalism because you enjoy the fruits of capitalism. Gotta be more careful about my finances. <laughs> well, there you go. Guy who doesn't who isn't care of, careful about his finances. I mean, this is the guy that spends his discretionary income buying fucking furry art instead of, I don't know, saving the money to better yourself. It's because Lizard Guy, like many people, is more concerned with instant gratification. Not about, you know, helping himself in the long run. That's your problem. Well, that's one of your many problems. Well, not moving anytime soon. Not gonna get into specifics, but went to see an apartment today and we couldn't even get a tour. Well, I suppose that's one less thing to worry about for now. I'm gonna guess your credit rating is probably... I mean, yeah. You, I mean, I've seen what you spend your money on. You're not exactly Mr. Pennybags here. This guy would spend 10 bucks now for fat part instead of investing 10 now to make 12 later. Far easier to shit on capitalism than it is to make it work for you, eh, Liz? I think I need a new title card. If you follow my Twitch streams at all, you may know that I have a title card that says Lizard Entertainment. Yeah, it's literally just Blizzard Entertainment, and he just took the B and one of the Zs out, and he thinks that that's clever. And that it's not, I don't know, copyright infringement. Still using my, B my YouTube channel, by the way. Nobody gives a fuck. Both a tip and an advert. You know how I'm shilling counter social a lot? Well, that's because I'm awesome! I came to play! <clears throat> that's right. Unlike the vast majority of the internet, I like to talk about things that I like instead of things that I hate. <laughs> really? Your entire journal here is things that you hate. I wish you would talk more about the things you love. Maybe then you wouldn't get into so much trouble. It's my... Dated in a few days, holiday intro. Welcome one and all to this, and I'll say a few things that's going to be hard to, for me to get to for the next couple of days. Today alone, I'm cleaning out the shit of this house, plus the Christmas shopping, blah, blah, who cares? Thank, happy fucking Thanksgiving! Who am I kidding? I ain't thankful for shit this year! Well, that's him in a nutshell, folks. The least thankful for, this, this guy should be thanking his lucky stars. That his parents literally give him a place to crash. But no, this guy's not thankful for anything, you see. 
because he's unhappy with his life. See, you're not giving him the attention he wants. You're not making him the famous VTuber he wants to be. Oh, more on that later. I know I read something about that somewhere in here, but uh, you'll see. This last journal was written under a stress night. I wasn't able to sleep. All the bad thoughts were hitting me. Uh, that's literally all of your journal entries, bro. I can't remember the, the time I read something fucking positive on your thing. A call for help. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. I just feel like I'm adrift, aimless in the void. Jobs aren't hiring or paying. I'm stuck in a stagnant loop of streaming and regretting the stream. The joys I have in life are fleeting at best, and I often wonder if there's just a group of people out there who exist only to shit on me. I'm fucked beyond belief, and I'm too old to say it's too early in my life for that. I need help. You have to get psychiatric help. That's really all it is. Disconnect. Look for help. Get offline, bro. This social media is not for you. It's it's literally rotting your brain and you're letting well let's put it this way you're the main reason you aren't happy it's no one else's fault or responsibility guess who finally got internet back december to dismember everything sounds like <laughs> yeah twitter it sucked he got banned off of twitter tumblr apparently it came back side problem it's impossible to find anything these days Mastodon, like an arid wasteland. <laughs> Yet today, you just rejoined Mastodon. Counter social. Now, this one I like. It started as a Mastodon. <laughs> you like? Uh, I'm guessing you have a different opinion now that you've been uh, banned from there, too. All right, so three months ago, we should start getting to the point where, where I argued with him again. It was a very brief argument. But uh, I'm going to guess that some here, somewhere in here I'm going to find clues of the, why he hates me so much. In a different note, what's up? Co-host account. I'm getting a co-host account. Twitch, Tumblr, YouTube, counter social. You have way too much social media, bro. That's kind of what's killing you. Off twatter now. Okay, so yeah, two months ago. This would be around the time. You know what? Screw it. I gone. Twitter ain't worth the effort to come up with a good analogy on what it is or isn't worth. Come find me in all these other places. It's been a while since I posted a journal that wasn't complaining about everyone's favorite contagious disease. So, so let's do the one worth that's isolated to one sentence. Good news, got a paycheck, so that's pretty okay. So I think I'll get a commission or two soonish. Jesus Christ, save your fucking money, dude. You pervs can finally come back for the naughty art you tolerate while I decide how to best get a fat panda pick. <sighs> and you wonder why you don't have money. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck, you know? The world is moving so fast and everything is so expensive now. I just... I just don't know where I can go, what I can do, or how I can improve. And more often than not, I don't get a lot of help. People say... People say they give me advice, but what does it mean? I need more than vague platitudes. I need legit hands-on showing me how to do this help. Fuck. Just fuck. Maybe don't, you know, push the hand that tries to help you. That's your problem is you seem to think that everyone else has your answers specifically. And that they can just magically wave their wand and give you an answer doesn't work like that lizard guy i'm sorry to say you have to figure it out whether that be get a job you can live with or save your money or i mean it's I, i'm guessing you're not getting empty platitudes i'm guessing people are just sick and tired of telling you the same shit over again and having you ignore them because you know best i guess no clue if anybody actually reads these. I am now. The bad thoughts are kind of intrusive now anyway, so I'll say this. I'm doing a Jackbox party in my Twitch in maybe, I don't know, two, maybe two and a half hours. For reference, it'll start at 9 p.m., blah, blah, blah. Come on by. God fucking fucking hell! I never will do a community night for as long as I live! Note taken. I don't know what demented God demands that I be alone, but fine. 
I'm guessing this happened immediately after your uh, Jackbox party night. God knows what happened there, but yeah, must have had a bad time if that was how you ended the day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Probably going to be get hard to get to today, family and such. Bye. YouTubers, uh, yeah, more social media. The, the thing you least need right now. Christmas and my birthday behind me. It's time to return to you irregularly scheduled journal updates. I got money. I got affordable artists in my view. And I get back to commissioning people. New Year may even ring in a new raffle. Only one way to know for sure, though. Maybe don't... Don't waste your money on this shit. You, you keep complaining about how broke you are and how you don't have money. And all you do with your extra money is... Buy fucking art that is going to stay there on fur affinity for literally everybody to jack off to or admire or look at. Maybe, just maybe, take a step back, save that money. I don't know, invest it in crypto, invest it in stock. Maybe just keep it under a mattress until you have a nice pile of money. I don't know, but maybe, just maybe... You're spending it on the wrong things and then blaming capitalism on the fact that you don't have money. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Final word on the hate economy. A long ass time ago, longer than I can even remember, I made some comments on the fact that hate seems to be the one thing that drives profit these days. Nobody sees a show, game, movie, whatever, because they want to do it. They do it because they hate or heard that it was bad. Yeah, it's called hate watching. And yeah, you should probably do less of that yourself. I mean, kettle, meet the pot, it's black, and all that good stuff. I didn't want to write this at this time of day, but I'm not paid as much as I used to be. And everything is more expensive. My job cuts some hours. So it's not that you're paid less, you just have less hours. I doubt that they docked your salary. They just gave you fewer hours. I have some credit card debt that I haven't fully paid down yet. Mmm. Yeah, you seem the type. Now I know why you complain about capitalism so much. I hate to say it, but I may be begging for Twitch subscriptions harder now. Minimum payout thing they do is like 50 bucks, and since they get most of the subscription, I don't know how many subs I'll need to make that payout monthly. I should remind people I have a Kofi if they enjoy the Twitch stuff, but they don't like using Twitch's subscription thing... Even got gold so you can set up monthly donations. This is your problem. You want everybody else to pay for your, for you. You don't want to... I'm disgusted by you. Like, this is... You want to be a popular guy online, but you're like the most negative, unentertaining person online, lizard guy. And you, you, you'll never hear it. You'll never listen to someone who'll tell you that. Nobody's going to be honest enough to tell you to your face that you're a talentless hack. And that not everybody on Twitch gets to be famous. Sorry, bro. Nobody. Literally nobody gets, gets just, you know, popularity just handed to them. You have to be both likable and talented. You have to have some sort of, I don't know, original thing to, to sell to people. But what you want is just for a shit ton of people to watch you and love you and tell you that you're the best person online and you want them to suck your nuts and give you fucking, you know, donations all day long. That's what you want to live off of. You want to live off of other people's charity and not off of the merits of your own talents, which are very few, as you yourself have pointed out. Twitter still sucks, a post on counter social. As a reminder that I'm finally gone from Twitter... Hey, he really hates Twitter. I wonder why. <laughs> now this one's rich. No, seriously. Stop obsessing over things you can ignore. <laughs> yeah. Physician, heal thyself. The death of criticism was a long time coming. What happened? Simple. People forgot they can ignore what they hate. That's you. You hate me so much that you literally wrote earlier about how you want to hire a hitman, and since you can't afford a hitman to come hurt me, and you can't 
hire someone to punch Asa in the face. You would rather see if someone can either steal my Twitter or if someone could just, uh, I don't know, hack me or hurt me so that you could feel better about yourself. And you're telling people that they should ignore what they hate. I've been ignoring you for fucking months and it hasn't worked. And now you're bringing more of this trash to my doorstep. You're inciting people to commit violence against me, lizard guy. And you can sit there with a straight face and tell me that other people don't know how to ignore the things they hate? Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm the only one who's dead honest with you and tells you to your face, dude, you're being an asshole. Most people will just block you, but I'm not a blocker. I'm a confronter. I, I ain't no pussy here. I will tell you to your face what my problems are with you. And this is the same with anybody. This is why I'm not particularly well liked. But you know what? I'd rather be hated and be truthful than, you know, be a little bitch and talk behind people's backs, which is what you do, and then accuse them of the most heinous things. I never incited you to death. I never told you I wanted you to die. And I certainly don't want you to commit suicide. What I would like you to do is admit when you're wrong and get some fucking help already. Jesus, would that be so hard? What you need is to enter a detox clinic and detox of social media. It has clearly poisoned your brain. Still streaming sometimes. Nintendo Direct happened. It's like three Nintendo Direct things and he shat on all of them. Like, this guy, what do you actually like, bro? Everything you post is about what you hate. And you hate this. And you hate that. About the only things I've heard you like are counter social. <laughs> and that's it. And now you probably hate them too for banning you. So, hmm. Too bad you can't update this journal ever again. Yeah, I don't got a girlfriend. Shut up! Just wait. There's some obsessed loner out there waiting to make a two-hour video whining about me purely to include that. Yeah, guilty as charged. <laughs> but you put that out there, not me. I mean, this is this is publicly available. You don't need Asa to read it. Old wounds reopen. Remember how you should not drive people to suicide by lying to their friends and turning them against said people? Well, can someone explain to me why the fuck I am the problem for not wanting to die? Um, your attitude and your belligerence is what turned people against you. Not me. I didn't turn anybody against you. I don't want you to lose friends. I want you to change your ways and become a decent human being. But you complain about your work. You complain about your friends. You complain about who likes you, who dislikes you. It's, it's, it's a bit much. You are a complainer. And that's all you fucking do. Complain day in and day out. You don't try to do something better with your life. You just try to bring everybody else around you down. Maybe because you want them to feel as bad as you do. Guys, I have a stalker. How do I get... You are calling me a stalker? Bro! I never incited anybody to go to you. I don't want to know anything about you. I don't want, I don't want anything to do with you. I would rather you keep me out of your brain altogether. Please delete me from your brain. Please forget I exist. Hey, you know how I have a stalker who wants me dead? Well, I don't have the money for a therapist or a hitman. A hitman. I'm not your nemesis, lizard guy, but now you're at a point where you are literally inciting people to violence against me, and this is not okay. I never wanted you dead. I don't want you dead right now. I want you to shut the fuck up and stop demanding people's attention. Stop whining. Stop acting like the world owes you viewership. Stop acting like Twitch is going to be a viable income source for you. Newsflash, it won't be. And you shouldn't be living off of people's charity to begin with. Especially when you're, you offer nothing back to people of any value whatsoever. 
In capitalism, the market decides, and clearly, there's no market for dumpy, depressed gamer guy who quietly plays on Twitch and has 90% dead air while he spouts popular, safe political views and acts like a perpetual victim. The only person you are a victim of is yourself. I'm at a weird place in this whole deal. Hey, anyone... This is a directionless vent journal, so apologies if things get old, incoherent, or heavy. I feel like one of those is going to happen again. So here I am, having been on this site for a few years now. Nice people, nice art, nice lots of things. I can't pretend it's flawless. Nothing truly is, but it's been a good one for me. Now here's the part where it gets ventish. I'm frustrated, just in general. I haven't. It hasn't been the best of mental health states since a certain stalker forced himself back into my life. I did no such fucking thing, bro. <laughs> I, I would rather just as soon have you out of my life. But I'm not the one who's constantly bringing you up. It's you constantly bringing me up. I don't have a journal, certainly, where I'm talking daily about you, no, and the only reason I'm making this video is because now you've actually threatened me. You've incited people to violence against me. This is not okay. I have never done that to you, nor would I ever encourage that. And if you're watching this video and you feel like attacking this guy, shame on you. I do not endorse that. Let me say right here, right now, I do not endorse violence against this guy. But if this idiot makes you laugh, I'm all about laughing at the guy. He's certainly funny to me. Actually... Having read your journal, you're not funny anymore. This is just sad. And what you need is help. You seriously, seriously need to get some mental health. I wouldn't hire you if you were the last employee on earth. You're a cancer to employers, who I imagine have every headache in the world dealing with your shitty attitude and your unwarranted self-importance. You're not interesting. You're not talented. You have no education whatsoever to get you that high-paying job you want, and you're angry online 24-7. You need anger management. You need to take control of your life. And stop blaming everyone around you. You need to stop acting like an entitled know-it-all. And you need to be thankful. You know, science itself says that people who are thankful tend to be happier and live more fulfilling lives. You're not even thankful to the people who draw the smut that you buy. You argue incessantly with everyone you meet online. The day you recognize that you are the sole responsible person for your own misery is when you'll realize that it's you who needs to make changes in your own life. You can start by taking a little accountability, some responsibility, and yeah, delete most if not all of your social media. That said, come to Arizona, big boy. Come and meet me. Don't ask anyone else to do your fighting for you. Quit being a pussy. You might actually be surprised how chill I can be when you're not threatening me. Otherwise, come punch me yourself and I'll make sure you go viral after I knock your silly ass out. Mike dropped.